Hello, Lobbert here. Please consider giving this video a like and subscribe for more Popper Commander content. I put a lot of effort into these videos because I want to earn that from you. If you'd like to support what I'm doing here, I'd love it if you became a patron. Special thank you to Brad for hosting and the whole crew of the PDH Pod for being here for this one. Check out their podcast, The PDH Pod. It's a great source of Popper Commander news, tips, and tricks. You can find their podcast by clicking the link in the description or by searching The PDH Pod in your favorite podcast app. There's also a link in the description to skip the rundown of each player's commanders if you'd like to get right to the game. Brad Drac V is going first with OG, the Exquisite Blade, a legendary 2-3 human monk for 2, white, blue, with... When OG, the Exquisite Blade, enters the battlefield, you gain 2 life and scry 2. And, whenever you cast your second spell each turn, exile up to one target creature you control, then return it to the battlefield under its owner's control. Going second is Liam, the PDH PhD, with Ornithopter, a 0-2 artifact Thopter for 0, with Flying. Flobbert is coming third with Sonorous Howlwander, a 2-2 human warrior for 1 and 2 hybrid black red, with Menace, and... Each creature you control with Menace can't be blocked except by three or more creatures. And going last is Alcadron, a Popper Commander Rules Committee member, with Mardu Roughrider, a 5-4 Orc Warrior for two red, white, black, with whenever Mardu Roughrider attacks, target creature can't block this turn. Brad starts the game by drawing a card for turn, and playing Razor Tight Bridge, he passes. Liam draws, and plays Crystal Grotto, which lets him scry a card to the top. He then plays Leather Armor, his commander Ornithopter, and equips the leather armor to the Ornithopter. He passes. Lobbert draws a card, plays Thriving More Naming Red, and passes. Alcadron draws, plays a mountain, and passes. Brad draws a card, plays an island, and passes. Liam draws for turn, plays a haunted Fendograph as his land, and Ecologist's Terrarium, which puts a basic waste into his hand. He passes. Lobbert draws, plays a snow-covered mountain, and Volshock Morningstar. He then passes. Alcadron draws, plays a mountain, suspends Gargadon, and passes. Brad draws a card, plays a plains, and inspiring Overseer, which draws him a card and gains him one life. He passes. Liam draws, plays a waste as his land, ceremonial knife, and equips it to Ornithopter. He attacks Lobbert, who takes one commander damage. Ceremonial knife triggers, so Liam gets a blood token. He passes. Lobbert draws for turn, plays a snow-covered swamp, and his commander, Sonorous Howlwander. He then passes. Alcadron starts his turn, removes a time counter from Gargadon, and draws for turn. He laments the warning that Leather Armor is giving to Leem's commander, and plays Rakdos Carnarium, which returns a mountain to his hand. He passes. Brad draws, plays Honored Heirloom, and goes to combat. He attacks Alcadron for two, and passes. Liam draws a card, plays a waste, and plays Volshock Morningstar which he equips to his Ornithopter. He goes to combat and attacks Alcadron for 3 commander damage. Alcadron takes it, so Liam gets another blood token. He then passes. Lobbert draws, plays a Path of Ancestry, and Prying Blade. He equips the Prying Blade to Sonorous Howlmonder and goes to combat. He attacks Liam for 3 commander damage. Prying Blade triggers, so Lobbert gets a treasure. He passes. Alcadron removes a time counter from Gargadon, draws for turn, plays Mardu Banner and Boros Garrison, which returns a mountain to his hand. He reveals the two mountains that he's returned to his hand, plus another one, just for fun. Brad draws a card, plays a plains, and casts his commander, Oji, the Exquisite Blade. Oji's enter the battlefield effect triggers, so Brad scries one card to the top, one to the bottom, and gains two life. He then casts Preordain, which triggers Oji. Brad targets Inspiring Overseer with it, so it gets flickered. So Brad draws a card, gains one life, and resolves Preordain. He puts both cards on top, draws, and ends his turn, discarding Scour All Possibilities to hand size. Liam draws, plays Warped Landscape as his land for turn, and Pilgrim's Eye, which puts a waste into his hand. He then plays Leon and Scimitar, which he equips to Ornithopter. He moves to combat and attacks Brad for four commander damage. He gets a blood token from Ceremonial Knife and passes. Lobbert draws a card, plays a snow-covered mountain, and equips Volshock Morningstar to Sonorous Howlwander. He goes to combat and attacks Liam for 5 commander damage. Lobbert gets a treasure off of Prying Blade. After combat, he plays Deputized Protester. He used Path of Ancestry, so he scries a card to the top and passes. Alcadron removes a time counter from Gargadon, draws for turn, and reveals his draw, Shadow Prophecy, noting how bad it is with the lands he's got so far. He plays a mountain and Haggy Mob, 
He then passes. Brad draws, plays an island, and Aether Spellbomb. Next, he plays Priest of Ancient Lore. OG triggers, which he uses to flicker Inspiring Overseer. He draws a card and gains one life off of it, entering the battlefield, and then Priest of Ancient Lore enters, so he draws another card and gains another life. He then passes. Liam draws a card, plays a waste, and sacrifices a blood token to discard a waste, and draw a card. Liam asks Lobbert if he's going to attack him next turn. Lobbert says that there's a low chance. Liam asks if attacking him will increase that chance. Lobbert says it will. Liam lets it be known that he's only attacking Lobbert because he's going around the table and goes through with attacking Lobbert for 4 commander damage. Ceremonial knife triggers, so Liam gets another blood token, which he uses to discard Takasia's dig site and draw a card. He activates another blood token to discard Terminal Moraine and draw a card. Next, he plays Environmental Sciences to put a waste into his hand and gain 2 life. He activates his last blood token to discard a waste and draw a card, which he says is another land. He passes. Lobbert draws for turn and goes to combat. He attacks Alcadron with Sonorous Hellwander and Brad with Deputized Protester. The Protester's melee ability triggers, so it gets plus two plus two. Brad plays Opt to scry a card to the bottom and draw a card. Next, he plays Capsizing Wave, the adventure half of Sword Coast Serpent. To return the Protester to Lobbert's hand, OG triggers, which Brad uses to flicker Inspiring Overseer, so he draws a card and gains one life. Alcadron takes five commander damage, so Lobbert gets a treasure token. After combat, he plays Ripscale Predator and passes. Alcadron removes the last time counter from Gargadon, so he casts it without paying its mana cost, and it gains haste. He draws for turn, plays a mountain, and plays his commander, Mardu Roughrider. He goes to combat, attacks Brad for 7 with Trample, and Liam for 5. Liam blocks with his Pilgrim's Eye, and Brad takes 7. Alcadron activates Haggy Mob to deal 1 damage to Priest of Ancient Lore, which destroys it. He passes. Brad draws, plays a Plains, and enchants Gargadon with Weakstone Subjugation so it doesn't untap. He then cycles Secluded Step to draw a card. Brad passes. Liam draws for turn and attacks Alcadron for 4 commander damage. Ceremonial Knife triggers, so Liam gets a blood token. He then plays Workshop Assistant, Guardian Idol, and Relic of Progenitus. Brad thinks for a minute about the Relic of Progenitus, but does nothing. Liam passes. Lobbert draws a card, plays a Snow-Covered Mountain, and goes to combat. Attacking Brad with his 6-5 and Liam with Sonorous Hellwander, Brad sacrifices Aether Spellbomb to return the Ripscale Predator to Lobbert's hand. Liam takes 5, so he goes to 13 commander damage. Crying Blade triggers, so Lobbert gets a treasure. After combat, Lobbert plays the Predator again, which Brad counters with Dream Fracture, so Brad and Lobbert draw a card. Next, Lobbert plays Deputized Protester again. He used Path of Ancestry, so he scries a card to the bottom. Lobbert passes. In his end step, Brad plays Impulse. OG triggers, which he uses to flicker Inspiring Overseer, so he draws a card and gains one life. Impulse resolves, though he looks at the top four cards of his deck, puts one in his hand, and the rest on the bottom. Alcadron begins his turn, and Gargadon does not untap. He draws, plays a mountain, and goes to combat. He attacks Brad with both of his creatures. Mardu Roughrider triggers, so OG can't block. Alcadron activates Haggy Mob to deal one damage to Inspiring Overseer, which destroys it. Brad takes ten. After combat, Alcadron plays Sickle Dancer, Frenzied Raptor, and passes. Brad draws for turn, plays an island, and plays Cathar Commando. He passes. In his end step, Liam activates Relic of Progenitus, targeting Lobbert, which exiles Ripscale Predator. Liam untaps for turn and goes straight to combat. He attacks Alcadron for 4 commander damage. Ceremonial knife triggers, so he gets a blood token. After combat, he plays Staunch Throne Guard, which gives him the Monarch. He passes and draws off of the Monarch. Lobbert draws, plays a snow-covered mountain, and goes to combat. He attacks Alcadron with Sonorous Halwander, and Liam with Deputized Protester. The Protester's melee ability triggers, so it becomes a 4-3. Neither player blocks. Lobbert plays Teamer Battle Rage and Butcher's Glee on Sonorous Halwander to make it an 8-4 with Lifelink and Double Strike. Liam takes 4, and Alcadron is eliminated. Lobbert gains 16 off of the Lifelink, gets 2 treasure tokens, and gains the Monarch. After combat, he plays Fearful Villager. He used Path of Ancestry, so he scries a card to the bottom. He passes and draws off of the Monarch. In his end step, Brad enchants Sonorous Halbonder with Tamiyo's Completion, so it loses all abilities and does not untap. Brad then casts Brainstorm, which triggers OG. OG targets himself, so Brad scries one card to the top, one on the bottom, and gains two life. Brainstorm resolves, so he draws three cards and puts two back on top of his deck. He starts his turn, draws a card, 
plays Candle Keep Sage and Tolarian Terror, OG triggers, which targets itself. Robert responds with Go for the Throat targeting OG. Red responds with You Come to a River to return OG to his hand. Candle Keep Sage triggers, so Brad draws a card. Finally, Polarian Terror resolves. Next, Brad plays an island and passes the turn. In his end step, Liam sacrifices Relic of Progenitus to exile all graveyards and draw a card. Liam begins his turn, draws, and plays Golem Foundry. Brad uses Mirror Shell Crab's channel ability to target it. Liam chooses to pay 3 to prevent it from being countered. Next, he plays Sojourner's Companion, which puts a counter on Golem Foundry. He goes to combat and attacks Lobbert with Ornithopter. Lobbert takes 4 commander damage. Liam gets a blood token and gains the Monarch. He passes and draws off the Monarch. Lobbert draws for turn and pays 4 to move both of his equipment to Fearful Villager. He goes to combat, attacking Liam with his 5-5 Villager and Brad with the Deputized Protester. The Protester's melee ability triggers, so it becomes a 4-3. Brad does not block. Liam blocks with his Sojourner's Companion and Staunch Throne Guard. Lobbert orders the Companion first and casts Raking Claws on Fearful Villager to give it Double Strike. Brad responds by sacrificing Cathar Commando to destroy Lobbert's Full Shock Morningstar. Fearful Villager and Sojourner's Companion are destroyed, and Brad takes four. After combat, Lobbert plays Brimstone Vandal and passes. Brad draws, plays Ash Barons as his land, and casts OG, the Exquisite Blade. It enters, so he scries two cards to the top, gains two life, and draws off of Candle Keep Sage. Next, he casts Thunder Drake, so OG triggers, which flickers itself. He scries one to the top, one to the bottom, and gains two life. He then draws two cards off of Candle Keep Sage. He goes to combat and attacks Lobbert with Tolarian Terror. Lobbert takes five, and Brad passes. In his end step, Liam sacrifices a blood token to discard Wayfarer's Bobble and draw a card. Liam draws a card, plays Seraph Sanctuary as his land, which gains him one life. He then plays Marching Duo Drone, which puts a counter on Golem Foundry. Next, he plays Jalum Tome, which puts another counter on Golem Foundry. He goes to combat and attacks Brad with a 1-2 Workshop Assistant and Lobbert with his Ornithopter. Neither player blocks, so Brad takes 1 and Lobbert takes 4, which puts him to 13 Commander damage. Liam passes and draws off of the Monarch. Lobbert draws an Enchants Brimstone Vandal with Perforos Semissary, using its Bestow ability. He then equips Prying Blade to Deputize Protester and goes to combat. He attacks Liam with his 5-6 and Brad with Deputize Protester, which becomes a 5-3. Liam sacrifices a blood token to discard Darksteel Citadel and draw a card. Liam does not block, and Brad blocks with his two 2-3s. Two Lobbert orders them from left to right. Brad targets his Drake with Lauren's Escape, which gives it Hexproof and Indestructible. Lobbert's Protester dies, and Liam takes 5. Lobbert gains the Monarch. He passes and draws off of the Monarch. Brad draws for turn, plays an Island, and Sword Coast Serpent. He plays Recruit the Worthy, Thunder Drake gets a counter, and OG triggers. Brad flickers his OG, so he scries one card to the top, one to the bottom, gains two life, and draws two cards off of Candlekeep Sage. Brad attacks Lobbert for eight. Lobbert goes to 20, and Brad becomes the Monarch. Brad passes and draws off of the Monarch. In his end step, Liam activates Jalantum, so he draws a card and discards Sunscorched Desert. He then removes three counters from Golem Foundry to make a 3-3 Golem token. He then untaps, draws a card, and plays Ginger Brute. Golem Foundry gets a counter. He then plays Navigation Orb, so Golem Foundry gets another counter. He sacrifices the Navigation Orb to put Heat Gate into play tapped and Basilisk Gate into his hand. He plays the Basilisk Gate as his land for turn and goes to combat. He attacks Lobbert with Ornithopter and Brad with Marching Duo Drone and Workshop Assistant. The Duo Drone triggers, so each player gets a treasure token. Brad does not block and takes three. Lobbert takes lethal commander damage and is eliminated. Liam gains the Monarch and gets a blood token. Next, he sacrifices the blood token to discard Introduction to Annihilation and draw a card. He plays Pristine Talisman, which puts a third counter on Golem Foundry. Brad responds with Memory Lapse, which puts the Talisman on top of Liam's deck. Liam passes and draws off of the Monarch. In his end step, Brad plays Peel from Reality, targeting Staunch Throne Guard and his own human token which returns them to their owner's hands. Thunder Drake gets a counter, and OG flickers itself, so he scries one card to the top, one to the bottom, gains two life, and draws two cards off of Candlekeep Sage. Brad starts his turn, draws, and plays Pneumonic Wall, which returns Lauren's escape to his hand. He then plays Palace Sentinels, which gives him the Monarch. Thunder Drake gets a counter, and OG flickers itself, so he scries two cards to the bottom, gains two life, and draws two cards off of Candlekeep Sage. He attacks Liam with an unblockable 6-6, a 5-6 with flying, and a 5-5. 
Beam is unable to block 11 of the damage, so he is eliminated. Congratulations on your victory, Brad. Thank you so much for watching until the end. Please consider subscribing for more Popper Commander content and giving me a like. I put a lot of effort into these videos because I want to earn that from you. If you'd like to support what I'm doing here, I'd love if you became a patron. Check out the playlist on this channel for more videos like this.